has come yet again. You know that I will find the lost treasure of Jerusalem before you do. Sam, just because you found the treasure in Pompeii before me doesn't mean you'll do so this time. 
Alex, you seem to forget about the many times that I've beaten you. L like yeah. the lost treasure of El Dorado huh? or... Indy, right you are. Yes, every time that Alex and I, Professor Samuel Winthrop Carter, the most famous archaeologist in history, search for a treasure, it is always I who finds it first. The treasure of Pompeii? Me. The famed excavation of Machu Picchu. Oh, that was me again. <laughs> the lost treasure of El Dorado. Moi. The treasure of the Copper Scrolls. That was me as well. Yes, it's always me. I always find the treasure first. That's why my name, Samuel Carter, is in all of the history books. <laughs> Your name, Professor Alex Evans. <laughs> Your name will be relegated to the lost pages of history, long forgotten like the misplaced relics which you never seem to find. That's because you're always cheating. You lie and steal and do anything you could in order to be first, but not this time. Your goody two-shoes act has never done you any good. It's time to face the facts. Lying, cheating, and taking advantage of other people is the only way to get ahead in this world. That's it, Professor Sam Carter. No more. This time, you're not stealing my information, and you're not going to find the treasure first. This time, it'll finally be me, Professor Alex Evans, who finds the lost treasure of Jerusalem. Just try and stop me. Oh, I will. Come along, Indy. Yes, Professor Carter. Lydia? Yes, Uncle. Tina, my trusted assistant? Yes, Professor Evans. Come on. We need to find the treasure before Dr. Sam Carter does. Yes, sir. Oh, guys, uh, I forgot my topography map of the cave and GPS compass. Can you run back to the camp and get it for me? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Tina, why is everyone trying to find the lost treasure of Jerusalem? Well, it's really an ancient mystery everyone's been trying to solve for over 2,000 years. Ancient mystery? Yes. Long ago, when the Romans destroyed Jerusalem in 70 AD, they made off with all the city's treasures, including the treasures of Solomon's temple. So, what happened to the treasure? No one knows for sure. All that we do know is that the crazy Emperor Nero of Rome took the treasure and buried it somewhere. Isn't Emperor Nero the guy who burned down Rome? The very city he was ruling? That's the guy. I heard he was crazy! Bonkers. The man was a lunatic. He was trusted with the lost treasure of Jerusalem, and it simply disappeared. Where did this come from? It looks like a map. A map? And I think it's written in an ancient language. Is it a treasure map? It's written in ancient Hebrew. See, here it says, map to find the earthly and heavenly treasure of Jerusalem. What? Tina, are you certain? That's exactly what Uncle Alex is searching for. The lost treasure of Jerusalem. Are you sure it's authentic? This isn't another trap that Dr. Sam Carter has set up for us. It does seem really old. The ancient Hebrew is flawless. Lydia, what is that? Um, I think it's a compass. Certainly not the GPS compass my uncle asked me to get. Yeah. It's really old. I'd say both this compass and the map are at least 2,000 years old. Really? That's amazing! And this map of yours points to where the lost treasure of Jerusalem is? Well, that is what the map seems to be referring to, but it's going to take some time to interpret it. You can't read it? Of course I can read it. Well, I can read some of it. Yeah, we're going to need some translation help. I mean, if I had enough time, I'm sure I could interpret it. It's just that it's written in Hebrew, but it's also coded. Coded? Yeah, it means we need a key to interpret it. Awesome! So, where's the key? I don't know. Lydia, Tina, where's the map and GPS compass I asked you to find? Great Scott, where, where did you get this map? Well, the map kind of fell from the sky. And Are you kidding? Maps don't just fall from the sky. But Uncle Alex, it really happened. Mm -hmm. The map really did fall from the sky. Tina could tell you. Hmm. This map seems to be written in ancient language. It ancient seems Hebrew. To be ancient Hebrew. This map is amazing. It must be over 2,000 years, years old. old. Yes, I know. This must be the map to the lost treasure of Jerusalem. Ancient manuscripts refer to this, but 
I never thought I would ever actually hold this map. It should have been destroyed by the sands of time by now, but here it is. It's really in my hands. With this map, I can find the lost treasure of Jerusalem, all on my own. And this time, no one is going to stop me. This time, Dr. Carter won't find it first. This time, Dr. Alex Evans will lay claim to the lost treasure of Jerusalem. Really, Professor Evans? What do you have there? Uh, nothing important. N nothing you need to see. Really? I seem to recall hearing you say just a moment ago that you found a map to the lost treasure of Jerusalem. You didn't actually find the actual map, did you? Such a find would be fantastic. Your name would go down in the history books forever. Well, maybe I, I did find a, a little map. Uncle, no! See here, it's written in ancient, ancient Hebrew. Hebrew. Oh, c can you read this map? Uh, of course. Uh, it says, um, map to find the earthly and um, heavenly treasure of Jerusalem. Earthly treasure? Heavenly treasure. The, this is actually it. The map to find the lost treasure of Jerusalem. Well, it may be, but I'm not sharing this map. You've lied and schemed your way too many times for me to count. Every time I seem to be on the verge of a discovery, you swoop in and take all the credit for yourself. But not this time, Dr. Carter. Yes, not this time. This time, my hard work will finally make me famous. Are you sure, Professor Evans? Are you surely sure that you don't want to share this treasure hunt with me? Not this time, Dr. Carter. You won't fool me again. No! no. I always win! <laughs> I had the whole map in my hands, and then, just like always, Dr. Carter finds a way to best me. Can I see the map? Sure. Lydia, look at this marking on the map. It looks like the exact same size as that ancient compass we found. Ancient compass? Yeah, and I think we're supposed to put it right there. Well? Well? There is some writing on the compass in the map that seems to go together. Well, what does it say? It's pointing to a map key. The map key? You mean the hidden code we need to find? A map key? It's kind of like a key that shows you what the map is actually saying. Without the key, you can't read the map. So then you're saying that you need the compass to get clues about the key to the map? Exactly. So then, without the compass, Dr. Carter can't read the map? Mm-hmm. Yes! I'm back in the game! Just watch me, Dr. Sam Carter. This time, it'll be me, Dr. Alex Evans, who finds the lost treasure of Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs>